Hey guys, welcome back to lesson eight of our 30 day beginners challenge. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to practice. So you've got a lot going on at the moment. You're practicing a lot. And what's really important is that you're showing up every single day. That's absolutely crucial. And so today I don't want to give you anything new, but I do want to discuss how you practice, how to start developing a good practice routine, especially now that we've got so many different elements suddenly that we're working with, you need to be able to structure that in your practice time. So pick up that guitar or don't. <laughs> you don't necessarily need it for this lesson, but still worth having and sitting there uh, with. Um, and let's get started. If you're new to this course and you've just come through to this on YouTube, then please remember that you can head on over to the website and you'll find full write-ups for every lesson, all of the tab, all of the chord boxes, the fretboards, everything you need to absolutely smash and master every single lesson. As well as that, please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It massively helps us continue to provide you these free courses and leave us a comment. If you've got questions, we will get back to you. So leave us a comment under the video and we'll speak to you there. Okay then guys, so let's talk practicing. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is the amount of time to practice. And this is the unanswerable question essentially because the, the best answer I should say is practice as long as you can. Okay, uh, and that, 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 that is kind of two revolving doors. One is physically practice as long as, uh, as long as you can until your hands want to fall off. And the other is, you know, how much time do you have? If you're, if you're a very busy person and maybe you've got lots of work to do, you know, family time, everything, and by the time you sit down in the evening, you can only spare 10, 15 minutes, that's the time you have to practice, okay? If you've got a little bit more time on your hands or you want to kind of inject time into your day to make this happen, then you know you can do a 30 minute practice session, a 45 minute practice session. And the further you go through your, your from a beginner into an intermediate, the more and more there will be to practice. So the easier it will be to fill out a whole hour's session. But the main thing is that you do pick it up at least once a day. That's the kind of bottom line, okay? If you can pick it up a few times during that day, that's fantastic, you know? But once a day, is great, really honestly. That's where you should be aiming for. And and don't kind of poo-poo if you're kind of sitting there thinking, oh, well, I've only got 10 minutes. It's not even gonna be worth it. It really is. So just get that straight out of your head. 10 minutes is fantastic, okay? If what we talk about today, if you apply that to that 10 minutes, that is fantastic time, okay? Because really, little and often, you know, practicing the right things is gonna make all the difference here, okay? So we know, you know, working, you know, in a guitar teaching industry for so long, you know, we know it's very common for our students to come back to us and say, you know, I put in a five hour practice session on Sunday and haven't touched it since, you know, and now it's Saturday for our next lesson. That's okay, you know, what a session on, on Sunday, but actually, it's much like anything that you are learning. You know, there's only so much you can really absorb before it starts to become just a bit of a waste of time, you know, and you get, you procrastinate or you, you don't do enough or, or, or the right thing or whatever it is. So really, you know, little chunks often is, is what I'm trying to get at here, okay? So to answer the question, how long should I practice? The answer is as long as you can, <laughs> essentially, all right? What is more important is what you do in that practice, okay? So let's, let's take a kind of middle ground here and say that you can find 20 minutes a day to practice, okay? You know, obviously you've got your 20 minutes a day of gym, you do your meditating 20 minutes a day, you work for eight hours a day, you work, you're with the kids for another four hours, but let's try and find that 20 minutes, okay, that you could do. You, it's a lovely 20 minutes, isn't it? It's beautiful, you can take your mind off everything else, learn this wonderful instrument, okay? What we need to start doing is, is structuring that time a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna work with what we've got right now. So right now, what we've got are a couple of elements. We've got a little bit of theory. So in terms of our theory, you know, we've got the kind of notes on the neck. Um, we, we know that the, the notes, are the string, what the strings are tuned to, that's really the only theory we've got for the moment, but that goes into the theory category. We've got the guitar gym category. So that's our exercise. <laughs> for the moment, 
okay? But equally, I would put into that category moving those two chords around, okay? Because that's, that's guitar gym as well, isn't it? Think of guitar gym as just kind of, I'm not going to say boring because I don't find it boring, but the exercises, the things that are not as musical, okay? That's where the guitar gym category comes in. So we've got our five, six, seven, eight exercise. We've got the exercise of moving between the two chords, getting those chords physically sounding really good. You could even make an argument for saying that the rhythm pattern with the chord changes is an exercise as well. But as it happens, that's our main practice thing for the moment. So let's just, um, let's take that out of it for now and say that our guitar gym part of our practice is that. Is this exercise? Five, six, seven, eight. Bulls going on, baby. Like that. I'm obviously doing it quite quickly there. So don't worry about keeping up with that speed. I'm just kind of demonstrating for the moment. And the other exercise is just simply moving between that E minor chord. Is that, is that sounding good? Or is it sounding a bit, a bit like that still? So we're adjusting, then moving to the C major seven. And that's a guitar gym, isn't it, really? It's not particularly exciting, it's not particularly musical. Um, it's just putting the work in, okay? And I would say, as a basic rule of thumb, let's try and give 10% of your practice time to that, okay? You can think of it even as a warm-up if you want to. So when you pick up the guitar, let's say you've got 20 minutes. Let's take two, three minutes, something like that. I mean, it can be a bit more at this stage because we've got not that much extra to practice. I mean, we'll get there soon. Um, you might actually want to take more like, you know, five, six minutes out of that time just doing those warm-ups. Okay, so you warm up. Okay, I'm picking up a guitar, I'm warming up, I pop the drum beat on. Let's go. Let's get this warmed up. My fingers are moving. This is great. <laughs> We're going through it. You know, it only takes a couple of minutes. Maybe you want to do the exercise a couple of times. Obviously, and you go through it, okay? So whatever your guitar gym exercises of that time are, whatever you've learned to be put as a guitar gym exercise, and more and more will be added, you want to make sure you always do those at the start of your practice time. It warms up your hands, and it, and it kind of works on all the things we've talked about. So there, it's all about the finger independence, it's about the right hand picking, it's, it's synchronizing the left and the right hand, and there with the chords, it's all about saying, okay, you know, I'm just trying to just get these chords sounding as good as I can. Then you need to move on to the lesson, all right? And th this is the bulk of your practice. So in this instance now, with the course you're doing with me, it's literally the lesson we're doing, all right? So it's watching the video. That's the next part of the practice. So you're watching the video, and, and it might have been that strumming, okay? So the next part of your practice routine should be learning what I'm talking about in the video. All right, so that's gonna then therefore be like 15, 20 minutes. So the rest of your practice time is that. So you're actually practicing with me in the video, all right? Then when you come back to pick up the guitar, if you come back again later and do another 10 minutes, 20 minutes or whatever, you're practicing what we did in that video. So what the topic is today, that's what you then practice. So the, the key thing here is remembering that Everything I show you, everything you get shown, you need to put it into a couple of categories. We, we, have, we want to find that kind of guitar gym category, whereby it's an exercise, it's a warm up, it develops your technique, it develops the, your kind of physicality on the guitar, but it's not that musical. That's what you start your practice routine with. Then you want to then have the kind of more musical element, the bulk of the lessons. So, you know, in, in a lot of the lessons we've been through, it's been all about strumming. Getting these chords together, like that, right? So that is then something where you're like, okay, well, that's really my main musical thing that I'm working on here. So in the future, it might be a song. I'm working on a song. I'm going to work on that song now, okay? Um, so that would be the bulk of your lesson. So as of today, right now, um, you, would, your, you would start, you'd pick up the guitar, and I'd do exactly this. So I would come to the uh, drum beat, and I'd put my drum beat on, I've got 50 BPM, and I'd start like this. So. 
my warm up. Just assuming for total beginners, right? So I'm doing fourth notes. Now, depending on how that feels, I'm probably going to try and do it twice all the way through. I'm testing myself with the beat. If I'm not ready for the beat yet, then do it without the beat. However it is, it's a guitar gym. It's an exercise you're using to improve your technique and your physicality on the guitar, okay? That's going to enable you to tackle all the musical stuff you want to be able to do. say to myself, okay, well, do you know what? I can handle that. I'm going to up that BPM. I'm going to go up to 60 BPM. Do another one. Three, four. So I'm trying to push myself a little bit. Still in this kind of guitar gym format, okay? about my right hand down up strokes come back down okay. you get all the way to the bottom and I'm starting to feel like my my hand is warmed up you know I practice this exercise now which is great okay you know this is gonna be very physical so it's gonna be the kind of thing where you want to give it a little break after this and I'm gonna stop there okay then I'm going to spend a minute just also just making sure that my chords are sounding good. You know, by now these just start to become a bit more familiar. Just my two chords. It's like, okay, I'm picking through them. I'm getting clean sounds. If I'm not, just spend a bit of time just adjusting, adjusting. And doing the physicality, doing the work. And then I'm thinking, right, okay, cool. I'm now ready to get, get onto that kind of musical thing. So this might be now, you know, once a day, it'll be that popping on the video and listening to me. Fantastic. Um, but outside of listening to the actual video, it's like, okay, well, what are my main tasks now? So the tasks really that we're focusing on outside of the theory stuff is being able to go with my drum beat. Two, three, four. So this is now the bulk of my practice. You know, I might do this for 10 minutes. Try to get this right against the beat. Okay. And then we'd stop there. Okay. And that really for the moment is your practice. That's great practice. So you've done those warm-ups, those kind of guitar gym style exercises. And then you've gone to the main musical element, the thing you're practicing the most. So that's obviously what we're doing. You know, our main focus so far is really that musicality there. We've got the guitar gym exercises that we've developed and those little bits of theory, that's the kind of stuff where you can right at the end just kind of refresh yourself with those. Or I would typically just have that, you know, uh, kind of for reference when I'm out and about, you know, when I'm at work or when I'm, you know, making dinner. I just be referencing those kind of basic theory ideas, you know, just so that, they're the kind of thing you just need to just understand separately to the guitar for the moment. But equally, you can just sit at the end of the practice session, just for a minute, just before you put it down, just go, okay, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So you've got guitar gym, a little pocket at the start of the practice. Then the main bulk of the practice, which is the kind of main topic that you're working on, it might be a song, it might be a solo, it might be the rhythm stuff that we're doing here. And then a little bit at the end, which is a bit of theory at the moment. And eventually that might turn into a little bit of extra fun. So, uh, you know, uh, by the end of this course, you'll be able to jam a little bit over a backing track. You know, you'd put that at the end of the practice. So we'll be developing this practice routine, but that's a really good solid base. Okay. So just categorize things. Is that a guitar gym exercise? Great. That can go into my warm ups. Is that like a musical thing? Is this the bulk of the thing I'm trying to aim for at the moment? Yes, that's what I spend most of my time doing. And then the little bits at the end. So it might be just you have five minutes of fun jamming away, doing stupid things on the guitar. 
It might be that you just re 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 um, review some of the theory stuff, you know, that last little bit before you put the guitar down. And that, that only needs to be 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. If you do it like that, you're gonna get a lot out of that, trust me. So there we have it. Hopefully that's cleared up a little bit about how you should be practicing with all these different elements. As we add more elements in, I'll now talk about where to put that within this basic practice plan, okay? Um, so keep up the good work, go away, practice like this, like I've just shown you, and I'll see you next time for another lesson. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. That's it for today. Please do head on over to the next lesson when you're ready, which you can find here, or you can start from the beginning of the playlist right here on YouTube over here. Also, if you want to leave us a comment, we do our best to answer any questions that you might have and pop us a like and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Every little helps. Thank you so much, guys. Speak to you later.